The Gay is a 1987 supernatural horror film directed by Tibor Takach and starring Stephen Dorff in his film debut. The film follows two young boys who accidentally release a horde of demons from their backyard through a large hole in the ground. An international co-production between Canada and the United States, the film was released by the New Century Vista Film Company and grossed around twice its budget. Since its release, it has obtained a cult following and was followed by a sequel in 1990 titled The Gate 2, Trespassers. A 3D remake directed by Alex Winter was in production. It was initially set for a release in 2011, but no release had occurred at that time. 12-year-old Glenn has a nightmare of finding his home abandoned, then going into his treehouse only for it to be struck by lightning and collapse. When he wakes he finds that in his backyard, workers have cut down the same tree from his nightmare and unearthed the geode. Glenn returns with older friend Terry to investigate. Though the workers attempted to fill the hole left by the tree, Glenn and Terry breach the surface, finding a large geode. Glenn catches a splinter and leaves a small amount of blood behind. Glenn's parents leave town for three days, placing his 15-year-old sister Alexandra in charge. While Al throws a party, Terry and Glenn break open the geode after discovering it has left strange writing on a notepad, and read the incantations aloud. They go downstairs just as the partygoers are playing a levitation game. Everyone is shocked when they levitate Glenn. That night Glenn sees his bedroom wall stretching, and Terry embraces an apparition of his dead mother that turns out to be Glenn's dog Angus, who dies as a result. The next day, Terry brings a heavy metal album to Glenn's house with lyrics based on the dark book. He believes the hole in Glenn's backyard is a gateway to a domain of evil gods, and speculates that their actions opened it. He concludes that the only missing element would be to deposit a sacrifice into the hole. Unknown to them, a friend of Al's dumps Angus's body into the hole, completing the summoning. After reading a section from the dark book that is supposed to close the gateway, the boys find the hole closed and assume their efforts succeeded. That night, a swarm of moths shatter Glenn's bedroom window, and an Angus' corpse is found in Terry's bed. Demonic arms try pulling Al under her bed, Terry and Glenn barely save her. They try fleeing the house, but are greeted outside by Glenn and Al's parents, actually disguised demons. After returning to the house Al volunteers to inspect the yard, but the others see it swarming with small demons and call her back. Terry leads everyone to the basement to retrieve the dark book, but it bursts into flames. They then attempt to stop the creatures by reading the Bible. Terry reads from Psalm 59 and the hole begins to close, but he slips and falls into the hole. Terry is attacked by the small demons before Al and Glenn pull him out. Terry reads from Genesis, then throws the Bible into the hole causing an explosion that appears to seal the hole. That night, a wall breaks open and a construction worker's corpse falls through. The worker pulls Terry into the wall, which seals behind him. Upstairs, Al notices a hazy image of the construction worker in her mirror before Glenn bursts into her bedroom. Al throws a stereo at the construction worker and he disintegrates into dozens of little demons. Al holds the bedroom door shut while Glenn races downstairs to find their father's gun. A demonic version of Terry appears, biting his hand before Al stabs Terry in the eye. Al and Glenn hide in a closet, but the construction worker breaks through an interior wall and drags Al away. Glenn realizes that Terry and Al represent the two human sacrifices that would fully open the gate. He also realizes that the rocket he had given Al for her birthday, a symbol of love, light and purity, may stop the rise of the old gods. He makes his way upstairs as the floor collapses, revealing a chasm beneath the house. Glenn attempts to launch the rocket, but his matches keep blowing out. The wind sucks Glenn onto the foyer, where a giant serpentine demon emerges. The demon pats Glenn on the head and touches his hand before returning to the hole. Glenn discovers the demon's touch has placed an eye in the palm of his hand. He stabs the eye, then struggles to descend the staircase, at which point the demon re-emerges. Glenn uses a battery-powered launcher to fire his rocket into the demon, causing it to explode. Angus emerges from the front closet, seemingly restored to life. He is followed by Terry and Al, also unhurt. The kids worry about how to explain the wreckage of the house to their parents. The first draft of the script was written by Michael Nankin when he was unemployed and recently divorced, basing it on the nastiest thoughts from, his, childhood. Glenn and Al were depicted as being more mischievous than shown in the final film, and the demons spread to the rest of the town, where they would drag neighbors out into the streets to kill them. The gigantic demon was originally envisioned as being made of bloody entrails. The house was a real home in Toronto, but an exterior exit had to be constructed for the production, featuring bricks, 
stairs, and a bug zapper. Beyond the backyard was a new housing development, so the crew erected a fence around the yard to block the construction vehicles and workers from view. The effects used to create the demons included stop-motion animation as well as forced perspective, wherein actors wearing rubber suits were made to look minuscule by their position relative to the camera and to the human characters. Randall William Cook, the film's special effects supervisor, used his hand and eye to create the scene where an eyeball appears in Glenn's palm. The gate opened in the U.S. on May 15, 1987. It ranked second in its opening weekend and grossed $4. 3 million. It grossed a total of $13. 5 million by the end of its run. Lionsgate released a special edition DVD on October 6, 2009, with audio commentary from the director and interviews. They later released a Blu-ray version via their label Vestron Video on February 28, 2017. It includes commentary from the filmmakers and several featurettes. Review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes reports an approval rating of 60% based on 10 reviews and a rating average of 5. 80 tenths. Michael Wilmington of the Los Angeles Times, in comparing it to the works of Steven Spielberg and Stephen King, wrote, Whatever minor triumphs it dredges up, is too hopelessly copycat. In rating it three-fifth stars, TV Guide called it a surprisingly effective and refreshingly uncynical horror film that may be too wimpy for some horror fans. Commenting on the film's dreamlike plot, Time Out said it could have been a cult film had the filmmakers abandoned their attempts to tie together the bizarre elements. In a retrospective review, Odie Henderson of Slant Magazine wrote, If you can get in touch with your inner 12-year-old, the gate is a pleasant diversion. Henderson identifies family values as a core theme, though it is subtle enough not to be preachy. Reviewing the DVD for Dread Central, Paul Nicholasy rated it for five fifth stars and called it a must-have movie for all horror fans that they can show their kids to introduce them to horror films. Thanks for watching.